Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and I just kind of felt like I wanted to make a video. <laughs> kind of some therapy for me, so I hope I'm not too boring. Um, between yesterday and today I received six packages of um, some really cool silverware. I just thought I would share it with you. One of them was, I know you may have already seen this one, it is the Owl sterling spoon I turned it into a ring this morning uh, I needed to do something I wanted to do <laughs> um, it is marked sterling on the inside it's a Wallace Brothers was the maker it is currently a size 10 and the twisted handle um, see how it's not like perfectly round but sometimes you have to exaggerate the bend here to get the curve up here. Um, I wanted to make sure that if anybody wanted this, that they realize it's not perfect. It is currently a size 10. Um, even though it's not perfectly round, it fits my size 10 finger. Perfect. Okay. I might be able to go a little smaller. Um, I can definitely go up to an 11. I don't have a price on this yet. Uh, I looked up. There's three owl rings listed on Etsy that I could find. Now, sometimes search, search doesn't show everything, right? There were three that I could find. I didn't look for the Mark Sterling. I just searched for Sterling. And the prices, I wrote them down um, in the 70s. Two in the 70s and one in the 80s. So my price will be lower. I couldn't find any on eBay. I didn't check the whole internet. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do, honestly. Um, I know I'm not going to be doing any sales on YouTube anytime in the near future. Um, yeah, I'm taking a break from that. Okay, something else that came in the mail were, these are very thick, sturdy teaspoons. Um, the pattern is called Tiger Lily. It is from 1901. It's also known as Festivity. The, there's a couple eye iterations. There's one eye iteration that has a rounded edge. Um, to me, the design is muted on the rounded edge. This has the pointed edge. And you've got this beautiful detailed flower at the end. So this is my favorite eye iteration with the two. Lilies in the front. This would make an absolutely gorgeous bracelet. And then halfway around your wrist, you have this other lily, other tiger lily. And then you have these dark grooves. It'll terminate somewhere in here, depending upon your wrist size. The good thing about tiger lily spoons is they will make all the sizes bracelets. So I did get 18 of these. I have enough for nine bracelets. They are antique. They're by Reed and Martin, a very good name. A very good silversmith. So these will be coming soon. I'm going to um, make one and get fresh photos and put that up on the website. I also received yesterday. So the patina has been corrected on the tiger lily that I just was showing. The owl has been corrected. And this has been corrected because these are the three that I got yesterday. And I did correct the um, patina overnight. This one is the Little Red Riding Hood. It is a spoon. Spoons are, it's a youth spoon, actually. Smaller than the youth fork. So the youth spoon ring um, will be about size five and a half up to an eight. Um, the larger the size, the less wraparound effect you get, though. But the condition is amazing. All of the letters are there. They're evenly pronounced and raised. Then you have um, the wolf, big bad wolf looking at Little Red Riding Hood. And then you have the big bad wolf in grandma's um, hat in disguise halfway around. And you can see this is the royal manufacturing. It is a triple plate. I pretty much only stick to the triple plate when getting these. Even if there's a condition issue, which this one does not have a condition issue. Um, the triple plate seems to be much more desired. Okay, now for today's um, 
packages that arrived. I have not yet um, perfected the patina. I'm going to put these next three patterns are going into the cooker overnight tonight. So um, this is the Egyptian scarab. Pretty, I've had this um, pretty much continu continuously for the last couple months, but I did get more. They're sell selling quite regularly on Etsy. So these are a draw in search. I'm going to keep these on hand. I'm going to make sure that these are available on my website, designslaura.com, for the $25. If there isn't one right now, I can go turn it on. I might have turned it off if I'm down to my last one. I never want to oversell something. So those are still available, and you won't find another one anywhere on the internet with corrected patina for less than $25. If you find it, go ahead and get it. Um, I can't find it for that price. Okay. I did polish one of these before I started. Now these, please, um, these are going to look even better once I'm done with them. Because see right here, it's kind of lighter than it is up here. I'm going to correct that so it will be evenly patinaed. This is the Assyrian head from 1886. Um, it is multi-motif, so I think there's five or six different faces, or I guess they're referring to them as Assyrian head. Um, the pattern that's just Assyrian came out the year later, 1887, and this part of the spoon is blank. On the back, you can see that this is Rogers Brothers with the star and A1 on there. Those are your marks. This is silver plate. Everything is silver plate that I'm showing you except the owl. The owl is sterling. So these are demitas. These are going to be turned into spoon rings. They will be bands. And I will check the sizes I need to measure, but probably 7 through 10. Most likely it might be able to go up to 10 and a half. I haven't measured yet, but I have six of those coming up. Those are going to be $27, $27 for those. Okay, then I also found this pattern I have never ever had before. These are teaspoons. They are called Met Rose, two words, Met Rose. Um, the pattern on here is very, it's not just detailed, but it's very raised. Um, so this does not have any real patina on it yet. Once I get the patina on there, I think the roses are really going to pop and the beautiful leaves. And this pattern goes along the entire handle of the spoon. Met rose. Triple plate. I was unable, as of yet, just a quick search, I was not able to find the year for this one. Triple plate really makes me feel like these are old. Maybe not quite 100 years old, um, but these are old. I'm, I'm going to guess, until I find out, I'm going to guess that they are a true antique, though. So these are going to be turned into um, bypass rings. They're kind of thick and sturdy. If it was a band, it would have to um, meet in a way that it didn't cause a lot of bulk on the finger but as a bypass these are going to be fantastic never had this pattern before i'm very excited i have 12 of them the person i got these from has listed some soup spoons in these let me take a look at for bracelets okay did i show everything i think i did i think that's it okay guys hey thanks for watching <laughs> It was fun for me to make the video. I'm going to end this, post it, go out to the garage, out to my bench, and make some more orders for tomorrow. Maybe make a tiger lily bracelet. I don't know. Hey, one way to be kind to people is be patient. And I'm so thankful for all of you who have been very, very patient with me. Have a great day.